Late last night, probably about 10.30 Utah time, I got a text from Jared, our rancher here in Nevada, um, who owns the property here where the Wall of Money is built. Wonderful idea it was. <laughs> Checking on Esther and I because we were still in Salt Lake City. Um, still in Salt Lake City. I was still doing a uh, test for my behavioral neurobiology class. I don't even know if you can hear me. But it was checking because the wind was so bad. There was such a huge windstorm last night. It's still going. Um, with gusts of like between 40 to 60 miles an hour and higher. Um, and so we decided to stay in Salt Lake until the weather improved. And I got a message from William about midnight saying that he went out to check the greenhouse and you know, to see if there was damage. And he was glad to check because there was really some pretty incredible damage. We left this morning to head home, just pulled up and show you the realities of farming. storm that blows over semis on the freeway. Oh yeah. So I'm glad you stayed home. Yeah, they actually, the, the wind was so bad that out actually in the middle of the, the uh, uh, salt flats today, we passed, they had the medical helicopter out on the road and an ambulance waiting to go because apparently they had some accidents already and they were just prepped and ready for more just in case the wind was so bad. Maybe you should have stayed over there today. <laughs> well, I didn't realize it until it came across. I'm like, well, oh yeah, it was so dusty. Up over the Pequots is bad. You know what the stupid thing is? When you look up, well, Wells, Nevada is 16 
miles north of us on I-80. And the forecast said it would have 12 mile an hour winds yesterday and today. We've been having like gusts up to, well, I don't think know. 60 probably. If I had a weather station, I don't know that one. Here's the funny thing though, Jared used to have a weather station. Well, he still has it, but the wind thing doesn't work. The wind blows so hard <laughs> more than I get broken. <laughs> well, clearly it gets pretty high winds. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we need a better permanent solution. Right inside that room, something woke me up. The thing that went in and woke me up that normally doesn't wake me up. Man, it's really blowing out there. I better go check the greenhouse. When I came out, it was already blown completely off. Wow, so just within those two hours. Yeah, because that was midnight yeah. when I came out. I'm trying to do something good in the world and you have off the That's kind of life, right? I'm not stopping. If this whole top just blew away, I would go salvage pieces and just get like T-posts and put them on my beds and keep gardening. It's all right. We'll be okay. tonight. It's supposed to be pretty darn cold. It's quite the storm. Storms happen. You just keep going. That's all you can do. I mean, I guess you could quit, but that's a stupid option. There's still sunshine, still seeds and rain. We're still willing to work, so that's what we do. Just keep going. Getting back where we can see this craziness. <laughs> well, we did everything we know what to do. Problem is, you don't know what to do in a situation like this, so we tried to do something. Yeah. <laughs> Said it's good to calm wind thoughts. <laughs> so 